first at 11, is it empty for good? A major decision about South Florida's now former shelter for unaccompanied migrant children. The private company that ran that shelter and made money doing so has lost its deal with the government. And tonight, some of the facility's many critics over the past year say they're hopeful it will never again be needed. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Southwest Miami Dade with new details at 11. Hank. Well, 2,000 workers let go here, but maintenance workers continue to be on the scene. So, so are security guards. They're doing what they call keeping the place warm just in case the Trump administration wants to open it up again. Here's the story. Sunset and mighty quiet at the Homestead Shelter for unaccompanied minors. Such a contrast to months ago when scenes like this were routine. Protest focused on the facility that housed unaccompanied migrant minors. But now the private contractor who operates a facility will not have its contract renewed. It seems that we are one step closer to ensuring uh, that the for-profit uh, detention of children does not take place in Miami-Dade County. We reached out to Caliburn International the company that operated the homestead facility. Their response? For questions about ORR and its programs, please contact the HHS ACF office at Public Affairs. So we did. They told us that population numbers had dropped way off because children were being reunited with family, being taken in by sponsors. There had not been any kids in the facility since midsummer. And. In our ongoing efforts to ensure fiscal prudence following a sustained decrease in referrals, HHS operations at the Homestead Temporary Influx Facility will be transitioned into warm status, effective immediately. HHS will retain the site and site access to ensure continuity of operations in the event of an increased UAC referrals. I definitely believe that the government and the corporation did listen to the community because it wasn't just activists, it was everyone in the community coming out, making a stand against child detention. But we are still on guard and, uh, and vigilantly uh, looking at the situation to ensure that uh, centers like this don't, don't reopen. Well, the U.S. government was spending $720,000 a day to keep the facilities open, which uh, got uh, Frederica Wilson, U.S. representative from Florida, to say it was nothing but a money pit for taxpayers. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.